Welcome to the Sage Pastor Accounting How-To Video. In this video, we will demonstrate how to use the Sage Pastor Accounting Tax Manager. Tax Manager was introduced in version 12, and you can select your tax reporting frequency as stipulated by SARS. You are also able to close off your tax periods once you have finalized and submitted this period through to SARS, in this way ensuring that no changes are made to the submitted report. In order to access Tax Manager, open your Sage Pastor Accounting and Company. Click on Setup, Tax, Tax Manager. Please note that you will need sole access mode in order to set up your Tax Manager. This means that no users can be logged into the company while you are doing this. Enter your password and you will be taken to the Setup Tax Manager screen. You will see Tax Reporting Frequency. Click on the drop down and you will see a number of categories. Select the correct category as stipulated to you from SARS for your reporting, and the periods will generate accordingly. Ensure that the tax reporting frequency is correct for each period and click on OK. In order to access your reports, click on View, General Ledger, Tax, Reports. If you are running the Tax Manager for the first time, you will receive a message that you need to close the previous tax periods. From the drop-down, select the period that you wish to work in, and all other periods will be closed accordingly, and click on OK. You will receive a message your previous tax periods are now closed. All processing will continue in your current tax period, and it will give you the period that you selected. Click on OK. You will then have the option to view reports and to view your tax type report, your tax box report or your tax manager reconciliation report. You can view the tax type report and tax box report for the current tax period or for closed tax periods. You also have the option to close the current tax period. Select view tax reports view tax type report or tax box report and select view current tax period and click on next. You will receive the tax report filter screen. Here you can print to and you have various output options such as screen, printer, Excel, Word, HTML, email, ASCII which is a TXT file and PDF. Select your output method. You will see by tax period that you cannot change the period as it is viewing for the current period only. By tax type start, select the first tax type that you want to view in the report. And by tax type end, select the last period that you wish to view the report for. You can also select to show details, print descriptions, a new page per account item or type, and to offset credits against sales and purchases. What this means is that if you process a credit note or a return and debit, it will offset the credit note against your sales or the return and debit against your purchases. For this exercise, I will tick this option. If we click on OK, the tax type report will generate. You will see that I have output tax and input tax and under my output tax there is a sales credit because I have selected to offset my credits against sales and purchases. As per my purchases there is a return. Again this is put into input because I have offset the credits. If we rerun this report and deselect this option you will notice that now my purchase returns are sitting under my output tax and my credit for my customer is sitting under my input tax. If you are happy with the report, click on Close. In order to view closed reports, select Tax Type or Tax Box and click on the option View Close Tax Period and click on Next. Again, you have your various Output or Print To options. You will see that the tax period is now no longer greyed out and if you click the drop down it will give you each and every period that is closed that you can view your tax type or tax box report for. Again, by your tax type start enter the first tax type to be included in the report and at tax type end enter the last tax type to be included in the report. The rest of the filters are identical to when viewing your current tax report. If you wish to close a tax period, click on the option Close the current tax period and click on Next. You will be asked to give a comment. 
You would ultimately only close your tax period when you have ensured that all the tax processing is captured and showing correctly and you have submitted to SARS. You can then put in confirmation complete or the date or whatever other comment makes sense to you. If you view your tax report and for any reason there are transactions not showing, you would need to view your tax manager reconciliation report. Click the view reports tax manager reconciliation report and click on next. You will receive your tax manager reconciliation filter screen. You have multiple print to or output options, same as when viewing your tax type or tax box report. You can then select if you wish to view this year or last year by deselecting the option and you would select your period start and end. Make your selection for your periods and then you can enter your entry type start and end. So if there is a specific entry type not showing and you know which entry type this falls under, you can select that specific entry type or you can select the first entry type in the list at start and the last entry type in the list at end. By tax type start, select the first tax type, which is tax type zero. Please note that tax type zero will never show on any of your tax reports. And at tax type end, select your last tax type. You can then select your date start and date end or reference start and reference end and click on OK. This report will show you the date, the entry type, the tax type, the account, the reference, the description, exclusive and inclusive, the tax amount, the period, as well as the tax period. If it is showing tax type zero, this would be one of the reasons why the transaction is not showing accordingly and you would need to decide how to handle this, whether you are going to process reversals and redo the transaction 